Should you even consider playing Assetto Corsa Competizione on console in 2023? Well, I'm doing the thing. I'm checking out in this video. I'm going to let you know exactly what ACC is like on console in 2023. Now, the last time I made one of these videos, I wasn't that impressed by ACC on console. There were no lobbies, really. It was completely empty. The steering just felt so unresponsive and delayed. The graphical fidelity was quite bad as well. But I am super happy to let you know that my experience this time was very different. Not only were there lots of lobbies to join, some had safety rating requirements. There were some leads going on as well. And perhaps most importantly, the responsiveness of the wheel input on the game and also just a graphical IQ is a lot better than the last time I played. Now, I want to say a big thank you to GT and Mega for sponsoring this video. This is all about accessibility and GT and Mega makes some of the most accessible sim racing equipment out there. And they're coming out with so many new products, including a GT and Mega Prime Light Rig. I use the Prime Rig. They're coming out with a Prime Light Rig. Loads of gaming chairs as well. Go check out GTMega.com. If you do decide to make any purchases, make sure you use the code Kirith5 at checkout. It's going to give you 5% off. Thank you so much, GT Mega. Now, we're back on ACC here. You can see there is a bit of chaos. There's a bit of carnage here. That's to be expected. It's an open lobby. But the fundamental driving experience, as you might be able to tell, is actually quite good. This is a million miles away, by the way, from ACC on PS4 and Xbox One. It is genuinely one of those games where you're like, okay, this is on a different generation of console. And it is good to see that the developers have kept updating this. I think the responsiveness is something they must have really worked on behind the scenes and maybe a limitation with the bandwidth on previous consoles. But if you wanted to run this on a PC at this sort of graphical quality at 60 frames a second, you would be spending a lot more money than you would otherwise on the PS5 of Netflix X. I can absolutely guarantee that. This is running very nicely indeed. Now we're coming into Parabolica. This is quite a tricky corner, especially in ACC. You really want to balance things in terms of the steering, the brake, getting on the throttle. And I have absolute confidence here this time I'm racing on my Fanatec CSL Elite, so a belt-driven wheel, not the absolute highest-end equipment, but it's given me the nice sensation that AC does with the force feedback. I think that was a big issue before, was that the force feedback just felt so distant, what was going on on track. There was a sort of delay, and that delay is just absolutely gone. It feels like ACC on PC, and I really do think that with the amount of content... I don't want to go like too super crazy on ACC, but I was quite harsh in the last video, I suppose. But the amount of content you get at the incredibly cheap price this game often goes on sale makes it arguably better value if you want to do this sort of stuff than Gran Turismo 7. Quite a controversial opinion, but the fact that you can do endurance races here, you can have the wet weather as well, all the cycles on uh, proper GT3 tracks, uh, no fictional tracks in ACC, and a uh, wide array of GT3 machinery as well. DLC available as well in terms of other cars and tracks. But what you, what you even get in the base package is a one-stop shop. You buy it and that's it. You can race. Uh, obviously a lot better value than I racing. Um, there's no subscription involved either. Now you can see I'm in this lobby cruising around. The guy ahead of me has got a stop-go 30-second penalty. So I imagine I'm in provisional second place. Uh, flicking through a, diff a few different camera angles here. This is a slightly different camera angle where you can see your wheel. This is really important if you're not sure your wheel rotation is accurate because you can literally just check that the hands are doing what um, your hands in real life are doing. Um, a little bit distance though, this view kind of sitting a bit further back. But some would say it's more realistic. Uh, the other view is kind of a bit more zoomed in, so not a very natural field of view. And this is, you know, this is proper ACC. Got the tire pressures up. Got the really nice indicator they have at the bottom about ABS, TC usage and stuff like that as well. And it just, honestly, I think we're kind of, I think we can't, let me know in the comments, by the way, if you play ACC console a lot, because you will have been, uh, to be honest, more in tune with this journey than I have been, because I kind of drop in and drop out. But it feels like we're kind of there with ACC on console as a base package. What do you want to see extra? I'm not sure the driver swaps work in ACC on console. That may be an absolute game changer if you could run endurance events. That's something I would be very interested in running for. Uh, my community on YouTube and in Discord. But fundamentally, happy to report that ACC is looking really, really, really solid on console. And it is one of the newest sims out there. It's much newer than iRacing, much newer than R Factor 2 and other stuff like that. So, yeah. Positive. A positive video. I like it. I love it. Right. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos to this. It really will be like that. 
Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And I will see you. I'll see you next time.